Hi, my name is Gregory and today we're going to discuss uh, a loading test and exception loading test. So we have a patient who been suffering from uh, TMJ problems and uh, she was diagnosed with a dysfunction. But the problem was here that uh, she couldn't find a bite and every time she bites her, uh, the muscles of the joint start hurting her. So for us we have to find out what probably the main the primary reason she has a problem. Is it muscles or the joints? That's why we are going to test her joints with uh, the loading test and exception the loading test. So this is the lift gauge and uh, what the most important is we are going to put we take several leaves of uh, lift gauge and we're going to put it between her front teeth. Wait. Okay. The most important make sure it's the separation between your upper and lower teeth. Just make it lower. Okay. Um, it should be at least 1.5 one millimeter, not higher. Since your teeth been overwrapped, especially second molars on the right on the left side. Okay. If we look in the back, she has like, like maybe say like a couple of millimeters. So what I'm going to do? Oh, open. I'm going to remove some of these leaves. Okay and put it back again, close. So now we achieved 1.5 millimeter between the second molars. So what we're trying to do is uh, we're going to ask the patient to slide the bottom jaw forward, more, more, okay, then going back all the way and then squeeze. Okay, do you feel any pain, any discomfort? Nothing, the muscles, tenderness, this side and this side. Yeah. You can see she's pointing out that it's a little bit like muscle muscles, okay, a little bit um, discomfort. So we're also going to try and to check your uh, eccentric loading test. So the loading test is um, reflects the condition of mesial pole of TMJ. So when we press and the joint doesn't move, okay? We're putting a loading test on the mesial pole of a TMJ, on the meniscus. So open again. So now we're going to try to separate the joints and we're going to test exception loading tests on this patient. So we're going to put the leaf gauge between the premolars or the canines, right? Okay? And we're going to press against the chin holding her head with another arm. Okay? Do you feel any pain? Any discomfort? Also, again, the muscles again. Mm -hmm. Try to move your jaw towards me. More, more. See, the most important, she will not touch her teeth. So if she's touching her teeth, open again and put a little bit more leaves. Okay? So make sure when she move laterally, bite, they will not, not in contact. So move again. More, 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 more on this side. Uh -huh. More. Okay. And hold it. Do you feel any pain, any discomfort? On the same side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Open again. Close. Do you feel any pain here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Try to move your jaw towards that side. More, more. Do you feel any pain here? Any discomfort? You feel more, a little bit higher, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can feel it. Uh, she she feels the pain on the problem side. The problem again it's uh, with her joint or the muscles. Now we have to figure out is it the muscles or is it going to be joint? What eccentric loading test does? Okay, and special on this side. It leaves the joint in the place and it's going to track the opposite side of the joint down. So now we're going to separate a little differentiate between the left and the right side. So in this case, what well, she might probably feel it since we have a joint, oh, we have a joint in that position and it says this. Um, on your left side 
and when she moves this jaw tracks down and this one goes all the way in the back so you can see that uh, the mesi distal position of the joint of the head of the joint okay is larger and bigger and when she moves back she touching retrodiscal tissue which is a lot of nerves and so probably in her case is a little bit inflamed and when she moved the centric loading test she moved again against that soft tissue where that soft tissue start irritating so in this case again we have to figure out again maybe there's a comp combination of both the joint and the muscles problem okay that's why she was wearing if you probably watch the previous videos um, she was wearing a coisy program and with the coisy program she felt much better her the muscle spasm started getting away the symptoms almost getting away but the only problem she has is uh, when she bites she has a little bit discomfort with her front teeth means she was clenching while she was wearing the cozy program at night okay that's what the uh, the big difference between the loading test when we try to uh, load the mesial pole and eccentric loading test is uh, directed to lateral pole of uh, other joint so that's why to differentiate what the patient has the problem of the mesial joint, uh, the mesial part of the joint, or the lateral part, you can probably test the patient with the loading test and extension loading test. If you have any questions, please uh, send us an email, markgregordds.yahoo.com. Uh, thank you.